Look, today we had a snow day work call. They said, keep your happy ass home. I was like, well, Scrim's dropping something today. I'm gonna make myself a little reaction video. Wonder where this was recorded. Ooh, ooh bando. I love bandos. Solitude. First thing you see, it's a bando, it's a home, it's empty. I love bandos. I love bandos. Um, you know, I, I did a little bando thing a few times and then we got some, some trouble and then I was like, oh, well, can't do this shit anymore. I guess we're just gonna watch videos on it and pursue it later on in life. It sucks having jobs that require so much structure and clean record this and that and, oh my God. You know, like I, I don't have to be a full-blown circle. Can, can can I be like an octagon? Oh, that's sad. It's like he's got so much that he's got going on and he's trying to like self-medicate or whatever. Maybe like with him at this point, you know, you you consume substances for so long that you need to keep up with it so that you don't go through shitty detox or withdrawal. Sometimes it's just easier to cave into those demons. That stuff does affect you in a sense to where you just can't be emotionally unavailable or you're just in constant limbo when it comes to certain things. But I love this line right here where he says he puts his love on a shelf in case he comes back from walking through hell. From walking through hell. When you're going through some shit, you have internal warfare going on. And sometimes it can be that you're faking it till you make it. You're trying to put your best foot forward. Or sometimes it can be you just running from your own issues and just ignoring it and lying and telling people, yeah, I'm, I'm good. But you know, at the end of the day, when you have to sit with your thoughts by yourself, you're in fucking shambles. But you're telling yourself in your head while you lie, I cannot tell. As in sometimes I don't know if I'm okay or not, I'm just going through the motions. And at times that I cannot tell means I can't even communicate with you that I am going through something because I'm trying to bury it. Can't help but look back and realize that it won't be long. Making peace with the fact that one day I'm gonna be gone. Stuck somewhere beyond some help on the right side or wrong. I keep overtaking my meds, hoping to help it. Somewhere stuck in between some help and the right side of wrong. Only he knows what the hell that means. Some are stuck in between being the bigger person and helping or whatever, and just telling someone kick rocks with open-toed shoes, you know. Excuse me for sipping too much. I'm just trying to feel the same. Oh, man. Forgive me for swerving too much. I'm just trying to find my lane. I'm drugging these hoes in lanes, trying to come up off my name. I'm popping on burger to perk, trying to overcome my pain. Know your prayers cannot save me. I'm sorry, but it's too late. That line is triggering. I've had this conversation with quite a few people before. Lean into your faith, honey. Open that book and lean hard into your faith. Sometimes that could just be an ignorant thing to do. Our loved ones, they tell us to lean into our faith and that doesn't work for everyone. For some people, that doesn't really help. I know at some point in time with me, that's the last thing anyone should have said to me. And that just makes me remember that. And like I said, sometimes you're just going through so much shit, the last thing that you could really think about is anything external to what's going on up here, you know? And and some people just don't understand that. Oh, 
bad start, poor guy. Ooh. I want to talk about that too. He just said that verse right there screams burnt the hell out, emotionally unavailable, mentally unavailable. I've got all this shit that I'm trying to deal with within my own self up here. Some days I, I fall down, some days I get myself back up, other days I take 10 steps forward. I'm in limbo with myself constantly. There's shit going on around me that I can't control. It's got me mentally checked out to the point of me just, me growing colder. That whole bridge right there, the desires, the wants, the needs, the dysfunctions, all that shit that he just expressed in that bridge right there. When you struggle with anxiety, and I could say this because I do struggle with anxiety, but when you struggle with anxiety and you're dealing with your own internal warfare, you're trying to resolve your own issues, you're trying to find yourself, you're trying to just fix something, fill a void. I don't know, find answers to questions at the same time. Your world starts to feel like it's just falling down around you. It starts to feel like you're standing here watching the ashes fall to the ground and there's nothing that you can do. And so it can turn into this vicious cycle of you just feeling hopeless. It's almost like, at least with me, you can't help but struggle with dictating where you want to put your energy. Do you want to run from your problems and try and help everyone else or, or have you mentally been worn out to the point yet to where you just mentally check out and you're like hey y'all ain't gonna see me for a few months I need to go do me I'm sorry and it happened and solitude does not mean that you're happy in solitude this distance that's what's gonna help me especially if you're dealing with like a toxic family dynamic. I'm not gonna lie, shit, I want no contact for an entire year a couple times. And you know what? One year it worked wonders. The second year, it just really made me question a lot of shit. I digress. Sorry. I love the desert bando. I just love it. Love it, love it, love it. Nice and simple too. Something else that I want to say, this video brings me back to just solitude. There is an importance of just being by yourself. Being by yourself, it isn't always a great thing. It isn't always like a happy period for everyone. Sometimes it can throw us into a healthy state of just reevaluating a lot of shit that's going on. It's easy to hurt other people around you when you have so much going on. I thought Scrim was going to end up releasing like load of songs today who knows what's going on though i mean like these guys are i i don't know like from the outside looking in it kind of looks like they're kind of spread thinly and they have personal lives too but if you think about it they just came off tour what in november i want to say and they have a few months to what i would think breathe and you know live their own lives and it sounds like in march they have music festival that they you know they're gonna perform at out in california and i want to say like isn't march the same month that they're gonna end up taking off you know to, to be down on da right right the boys are going to australia oh my god i'm gonna get a foot cramp oh 
This isn't me laughing at Scrim or anything like that. This is kind of comical because like everyone's been, oh my God, we're going to get like 40 songs and all this other. And Scrim's been taunting us for like two or three days. 40 songs. We get one song, I think. Fucking comical. And I know some Stan's going to come at me. Comments, fight me, bitch. And I will say that this is more than likely going to be one of the last few videos that you're going to see in this room because we're getting our class ACDL and for the next year we're going to be doing some trucking. Yeah, look, I just need a year of solitude and money stacking and yeah, we're leaving the state and we're doing things and who knows where I'm going to lay my hat and call home.